Moses replied, why pick a fight with me? Why are you testing Adonai? However, the people were thirsty for water there and grumbling against Moses. For what did you bring us up from Egypt to kill us, our children and our livestock with thirst? And Moses cried out to Adonai, what am I to do with these people? They're ready to stone me. And Adonai answered Moses, go on ahead of the people and bring with you the leaders of Israel and take your staff in your hand, the one you use to strike the river and go. I will stand in front of you there on the rock of Horeb. You are to strike the rock and the water will come out of it so the people can drink. Moses did this in the sight of the leaders of Israel. The place was named Massa, testing Amira, quarreling because of the quarreling of the people of Israel and because they tested Adonai by asking, is Adonai with us or not? A rock is tapped. A rock is tapped. The people of Israel had successful in their flight from bondage into the land of Egypt. And now they were in the wilderness and the going was tough. As we often find ourselves, you know, once you get out of a tight place and you struggle through that, there's sometimes you get you're out of the bondage, but yet you're still struggling. It, it, it's a tough road, the things and the battles, the things that you go up against. And so there is murmuring and complaining with most people because of that tough flight. You know, they just got out of Egypt and now they were in the wilderness and the going was tough. The water supply dwindled until finally it was gone. Thirst began to be more than a thought. It was a desperate need, the need of water, huh? Uh, their parched throats became vehicles of grumbling against Moses. Why did you bring us out of Egypt to kill us and our children and our cattle with thirst? In Exodus 17 and 3, we just read, what was Moses to do? What was Moses to do? There was only one recourse. He cried to God for help. And oftentimes, this is where we ourselves make mistakes, you know. We go to the people and we, you know, we want to look to people for for solutions to situations and circumstances that we're dealing with instead of crying out to Yehovah. Yehovah wants to hear you. And see, so when we come into something like this, a platform of these 72 hours, we want to first come to the place of repentance. Because truly the Lord has been good and God has brought all of us out of something, oh Shabbat. And so now it's imperative that realizing that we know that God has brought us out for such a time as this. And if God has brought us out of this, listen, he can take us where we need to go. And so it's important that we know that we're in a space called God and we're having a God experience. And God is going to to expose himself to us. And the answer came that he should use what the rod and with the, which the Nile was parted and strike a rock at Horeb. And Moses did as he was told and the miracle happened. Fresh water began to flow. The God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. 
I tell you, we're right into early evening, and it's the 72 hour global prayer, and God is talking about my mercy, my mercy, my mercy. We're going to turn it up a little bit. I'm going to play with you a little bit. Let's do it, y'all. We're going to enter in together. That's right. It's Apostle C in the place to be. Oh, when we give his name praise, we give him glory. There's nothing but the blood of Jesus. Let's go in, y'all. Shabu, 
Thank you for your blood. Thank you for your blood. Thank you for your blood, Lord. Thank you for your blood. Ah, your Mosan. It's been such a good day. And I'm just getting all caught up in this atmosphere. Such a great move of God. Oh, we praise Him. I give His name glory. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Oh, Shabbat. Hallelujah. Oh, won't you worship with me? Won't you worship with me? Won't you touch God with me this evening? An early evening, won't you touch God with me? At this moment, this very moment. Oh, lift those hands and give God praise. Won't you touch God with me? Won't you worship God with me? Won't you challenge those around you to worship Him? God has been good to all of us, O Shabbat. The Lord has been good to you. He deserves it. Lift up those hands. Lift up those hands and tell God thank you. It could be a lot worse. Tell God thank you right where you are. The Lord preserves. The Lord is good. 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 They bless his name. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, 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 oh bless his name, come on y'all, I want some people to clap those hands and pat those feet, I tell you let's do something unusual, let's just all get caught up, caught up, caught up, caught up, caught up, come on y'all, y'all ready to go, here we go, you don't think I'm waiting on you, I'm gonna listen, I'm doing what God told me to do. Oh, bless his name. 